If you've never seen sponsored content from me before, the idea is that devs or publishers of games reach out to me and tell me that they think my audience might like their game and they would like to pay me to show it off on stream. And that's what I'm doing. This is Wobble Dogs. It released out of early access today. It's available on Steam. Six human years or close to one dog year of development and one human year in early access. Let's play. I'm gonna do a new one so you can see the tutorial from the start. Twitch tacos. Welcome to Wobble Dogs. This is a sandbox game where you can raise your own little hive of mutated bubbles. Let's go over a few very basic concepts before we turn you loose. First, let's go ahead and get you a dog to play with. No. What would you like the dog's name to be, chap? Any strong opinions? Can you make a cat? Uh, I'm not sure. William Claw. I like Claw. I think Claw is a good dog name. Congratulations on your new pup! Now that you've got a dog, let's learn about the dog storage screen. That's this one. The screen gives you an overview of all the dogs you own and lets you choose which ones are in the world at any given time. If a dog ever accidentally ends up being removed from the world, this is where it will end up. All right. Being born is hungry work. Build a food dispenser and use it to feed your new pup. You have unlocked a classic food dispenser. Well, apparently we're meant to build it here. <laughs> Egg. I always, I'm trying my best to walk. So cute. <laughs> I always, every time a game has dig right at the start, I wonder, <laughs> you know? Great, your dog will try to feed itself, but if you click on a piece of food, you can command your dog to eat it directly. You can also grab things to drag them around. Use the scroll wheel or hold control to drag them vertically. Feed your dog. Nutritional palette. Dogs love to munch on this nutritious palette. The game has a disclaimer that, uh-oh, wait, uh-oh, what is it doing? <laughs> the game has a disclaimer that most doggos uh, should not eat food like this. Looks like your dog's ready to pupate. Click on them to bring up the context menu and then press the pupate button. Also, if you haven't figured it out yet, you can move the camera, rotate, right click, pan, middle click, zoom, scroll wheel. Help your dog to pupate. What is it eating? What is that? Edible nutritional pellet. All right, so I'm meant to click on it and then click pupate. I'm going to praise it first. Good work, claw. Oh, Odd made hearts. <gasps> Pet? <laughs> Alright. Sit. I'm trying my best to sit. <laughs> Pupate. It has become a cocoon. A dog is inside of this. I'm not sure what happens in this part exactly. Hatch. It is now an adult claw. Pupation complete. Mutations. The nose and ears color remained the same. The leg color remained the same. The body color remained the same. The back bottom leg length increased. The leg lengths increased different amounts. <laughs> I feel like I think that's not great. All right, now what should I do? Dogs pupate several times through their lives. The foods they eat will influence their mutations. Now let's have you build an incubator. Incubators let you hatch fertilized dog eggs. You unlock incubator. So you can see this is a very high realism game. <laughs> it 
can just eat <laughs> the cocoon. It's healthy. It's full of nutrients. Also, dogs eat like anything. Even though you don't yet own any fertilized dog eggs, the incubator always lets you hatch a dog with default genetics. Try it out. Am I doing it right? I think so. What is it doing? Oh my god, my dog is such a derp. My dog's name is... Derpsimus. Two more things. If you're holding an object, you can press the delete key on your keyboard to destroy it. This works on dogs too, but don't worry, they'll just be moved to storage. And last up, don't forget to save off in this game. Only auto saves when you travel to breeding mode. The option to save manually is in the escape menu. Those are all the basics, but there's a lot more to discover. Play around, have fun. Claws gut. Is full of chrysla, an artificially engineered flora that aims to encourage dog growth. A standard flora found in nearly all dog-based life forms. <laughs> dog-based life forms. What is this? Is that pizza? Flora affects orange coloration along legs. All right. Could I tell you you have a burrito? Oh, my God, you're upside down. <laughs> Terpsimus, no. <laughs> Terpsimus. Terpsimus. No. Can we, hold on, maybe we can store Derpsimus and then release it. Okay, there you go. Have some food. What is this? Oh, we have to, oh, okay. Just a little accident. Eat. I don't think Derpsimus is doing great. In general, I would say our dogs are not the best dogs. What is don't slip? Oh, rewards. Terpsimus died to jawworm floor one. Terpsimus died to double louse fight floor one. Randy is waiting for you in storage. We have received ground ivy. Dig a hole. Dig a ten. Dig fifty holes. Bury an object. Eat ten clumps of dirt. Oh, god, yes. These are exactly, exactly the achievements that I am interested in at this time in my life. We're 6% of the way toward discovering all of the gut flora. <laughs> Jacka. Wait, did I find another one? Oh, what is this? I don't understand why that one still was alerting. Uh, okay, so that's the flora. This is eggs. Run dog breeder. Version 0.6.01.exe. Randy and Claw. Error, no unfertilized eggs. Oh, they have to make eggs. Okay. What is this? Poop! Eat! No, 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 wait. I've changed my mind. Clean up. Chicken nuggets. Why did I unlock chicken nuggets when I cleaned up poop? Where's my... There we go. Let's bring you out. <gasps> Claw's digging a hole. Claw is dead. Claw? I'm so proud of you. Gosh, I'm so proud of you. Hey, Koda. They have little X buttholes. Of course they do. Getting busy. Dig a hole. Get weed mix. All right, I have capsule. Open capsule. Graveyard carpet. So I have more things to build now, right? Wait, is there like another room or something? Select starting room. I need a new 
room. But I don't have any new rooms. Okay. So inside here, wait. Oh god! <laughs> did you see what I just did to my dogs? Oh no. Claw? Are you okay? Dirt patch. This is what we were looking for. Carpets. Graveyard carpet. Gardening. Ground ivy. Wait, that's all I get? That's it? Okay, that's not a lot. <laughs> Plant seed? Eat. Is that an egg? Did an egg just come out of Claw's butt? <laughs> it had hot dog wallpaper in it? I'm just not gonna ask! I'm just gonna ask Claw! I lied, I said this is going to be chill, but this is high-octane dog content. Dogs are living their best lives, okay? I feel like I should, um... I feel like I should have this game as my AFK screen. How are they doing? Oh, they're sleepy. Would you like to have a sleep? How do you have a sleep? Sleep. Plus one. Randy, what did you just do? How do I click off of Claw? Whoa, you can just pull them. This is incredible. When do you think they'll make eggs? Is that an egg? Wait, that's an egg. Collect. Looks like you found an unfertilized egg. You can use the breeding simulation to inject these with dog genes. The simulation lets you crossbreed any two of your adult dogs and inject the resultant genes into an egg. Afterwards, you can hatch this egg using the incubator. Try it out. You and you breed. Are you sure you'd like to breed dissected dogs? So we'll immediately remove an egg from your inventory. Absolutely. Wait, what? That's so many dogs. Crossbreed or select final dog. What is this? What is this? Select a final dog. Noodle dog. Rune generation complete. Wait, what? This got spooky? Hello? Oh my god, is this going to be like an augmented reality? <laughs> what is this? What is this? What's happening? <laughs> No! No, be gentle! <laughs> no! Claw! <laughs> Gosh. It really... It really makes you respect what your parents went through for you, huh? Cloud wallpaper. Ooh, a new dog egg. Where's my new doggo? In here? Nope. Where is my new doggo? Ah, incubate. Brown. 
Ground Ivy. It's such an educational game, yeah. We're learning so much block structure. What is a block structure? Ooh. They can hang out in the corner now. Do you think they'll successfully climb that? Actually, can I? Hold on. Click to hatch. My dog's name is Trouble. My dog's name is Noodle. That's not how you remember sex ed being. How did you do in sex ed though? Did you pass? Hatch an egg. Golden lupine flower. Mutate? Oh! Derpsimus turned into a cocoon. I think Randy's dead. <laughs> Randy, are you okay? Derpsimus is floating. Yes, Derpsimus is becoming an adult. As you can see. Occupation complete. Derpsimus. Same colors. Less back leg stats width. But increases to leg length. Ooh, nose ear metallic. Okay. I bet that is relevant in some way. So I was meant to put things in their stomachs to encourage certain types of mutations. Burrito. Oh, you press that button and it drops. Okay. Got it. Oh, they're bored. Hold up. Who's bored? Which one's bored? Are you bored? Derpsimus is bored. Let's see if this cheers Derpsimus up. No. Hmm. Kids these days. Kids these days. <laughs> Such pleasant nonsense. This is my home now. I could feed noodle pellets to make their legs longer. Hold up. Are you hungry? How do I change which doggo I'm looking at? Oh, down here. Oh, Noodle's not hungry right now. But we have some pellets for long legs. Good thinking. Is Claw killing Randy? I think it's best not to ask. Probably. I think I'm gonna go with it's best not to ask. How do I make this go away? Oh. Oh no. A bene- wait. Those are worms, aren't they? A beneficial flora often used to help acclimate dogs to cold weather climates. Toy box. We need to dig more holes, bury an object, eat clumps of dirt, collect eggs. Plant seeds, hatch eggs, pet a dog. I already did that. Did I do that? 
Pet a dog who hates it. Oh. Open capsules, clean up puddles, clean up poops, eats. Do you think that's me? I feel like that should be more specific. Throw up, discover 10 different types of gut flora, and discover every flora. Complete your flora field guide. Breed dogs 10 separate times to get a tiny litter in the breeding simulation. A massive litter in the breeding simulation. Ross breed dogs at 0% stability. I don't know what stability is yet. 10 dogs at once. I create a room with space themed carpeting and wallpaper. Get the positive reinforcement cap for any property. Play for an hour. Play for fi- oh. Play for 10 hours as an achievement? Oh no. Hatchy dog missing only its front left leg. What? Hatcher mutated dog with very long legs. Hatcher mutated dog with a tail. Big, small, flat, all short, long, wide, pea brained, big headed, two faced, multiple heads. Why the left one specifically? I think it's best not to ask. I think we should just not ask. I think a noodle is definitely trying to eat claw right now. Look at their eyes. I think they're high. <laughs> Not sure. Randy, are you okay? Maybe. Let's make a new thing. Incubate. What? No! Stop! Fuck. <sighs> I made another noodle. Noodler? Something in the nutritional palettes. <laughs> I might just be genetically disposed to being high all the time. I don't know. He's got here, what in the ass is this? This is a very realistic dog simulator. My dog's name is Goose. Okay. I like the name Goose for a dog. Wait, that's different, though, than this. They're not the same. Noodle! Let go of Claw! Eat the poop. I got a toilet! It's a decoration, of course. Oh, I can make it bigger. I'm trying my best to eat the poop. I need to do the dog mating ritual again. Pizza bagel. For use with suburban? Wait, I don't have that yet. How did I do the doggo mating ritual? High energy, rude, quiet. I didn't realize they had like perks. Peaceful. Easily forms positive connections with other dogs. Mm -hmm. Noodles digging a hole. Quiet, rude, high energy. I already read that. Tech wall V3. Okay. Erpsimus is rude. Everybody's so rude. Polite. There you go. Polite, loud, and food averse. Goose doesn't like eating. Ready to pupate? There you go, little noodle. This is my new job. I now just hang out with dogs all day. I'm sorry. I'm glad that you've enjoyed watching my stream, but uh, yep. Pupating got you. Wait until it's done. Goose is your actual dog's name? It's a good dog name. <laughs> Puta pupation complete. The legs are longer. The snout length is... Oh my god, Noodle. 
Oh my gosh, Noodle, you are so ugly. I love it. It's adorable. Have this for more leg length. There you go. Uh, I don't... How do I... Wait, grab pet. Wait, what? What is happening? I'm not entirely sure what just happened. Dig 10 holes. Additional pen. Pet a dog. Foam ham. I have an additional pen. I have a foam something? Hello? Okay, I'm not sure what that was. We got a build. Supposedly I have one of these. This is exactly what I want. To be able to build like a hamster cage out of doggos. What shall we do in here? I feel like we're going to need food here as well. Wait, can I not put it here? Oh, I can't put it here. Why not? Is the ground not right for... Maybe this ground is right for... Wait, I'm so confused. This is different. Wait, we're flying. Chat, we're flying. I didn't even know. <laughs> Zephyr should be on my lap for this game. Cats! Behold, my cats. Cats are also flying. I suppose they are. It's a green screen, though. Simply a trick of the eye. What happens once the dogs finish constructing their dirt patch? I'm waiting for this game to go all inscription on me right now. Although there were no, like, warnings like that, so maybe we're going to be okay. Okay, where's Noodle? Do you have your thing for leg growth? And also some pets. Bite. Food. Noodle, big, I'm trying to understand what that means. Does that mean that when I pet Noodle, Noodle wanted to bite me? And wanted food less? Why does Noodle react in this way to being pet, but the other doggos don't? <laughs> I love that they fall over. What mutation do french fries give? Should we try to find out? Wait. They actually, like, built a structure. Oh my god, they're so much smarter than me. I couldn't have done that. Because he is an abomination that I have birthed. Oh, but, like, who isn't? Goose has not changed color. Wait, I didn't even... Wait. So I guess this is changing color. It just isn't changing color enough for me to notice. Front top leg length. 43%. Goose now has lifts. Lifts up front. I haven't seen any eggs recently. Is 
anybody seen any eggs recently? Is this Spiky Doy? I have a jungle food dispenser. This also doesn't fit over there. Ooh. Would you like a banana? Eat Randy. And Claw can have a coconut. And Derpsimus can have a cut fruit. Actually, Derpsimus is ready to mutate. You can have cut to fruit. I am now a researcher. I have discovered 10 different types of... I got a road carpet. I'm absolutely upgrading to that immediately. Oh. <laughs> I found the OP build. I still have an egg I can fertilize. Oh, I think I might have made... Oh no, you're right, you're right. How do I change how I want to do that? It's getting very cluttered in here. Is this where we... Oh, it's over here, right? That's where we breed? I think so. Derpsimus is a teenager and has now got 29% longer back top leg length and more body girth. Way to go, Derpsimus. I'm proud of you. Oh, Derpsimus, you got so big. No, this is gut flora. Bacto Bacto, Bacto Calcia, Glossy Sheen, White Body, Big. Oh, egg. This is where we do it. Uh, they're not old enough. They're still too young. Should we make more dogs out of these two, maybe? Claw and Randy. Maybe we will. What are these? Add filter, true, but what, what does it do? Top legs, the legs have three parts, I think. So when it says top leg, I think it means the top part of the leg. Ow! How long can we go for here? Simulation stability, 99%. Uh-oh. I'm gonna build an actual tank. This dog will rule the world. <laughs> Massive litter. Nice. Ooh, the music is uh changing a little bit, I think. There was a shiny there. Oh, was I meant to take a shiny? I didn't know it was like a thing. It's okay, we'll get another. The 
the size of your eyes. It's terrifying. Hold up. No, 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 not you. You. We'll go for big eyes. These poor dogs. Oh, these poor dogs. Come back. Wait, that one had green ears. That would have been cool. Aww. Oh, we have to take you. We have to take you. You're the only one of your litter. We will call it Elvis. <laughs> what the fuck is even happening? The miracle of life. I mean, we all have the internet. We all know how it works. It's a lot like this. If you're a child, please turn away from the computer at this time. Hey, Luna, how are you? You sound cookie. How are baby dogs made? Well, if you'll turn to the screen, you can enjoy the graphic demonstration. Fertilized egg acquired. We did it. Not sure what it was, but um, Elvis shall be the dog which rules the world. I got a dog egg and an industrial fan. You're a big fan of this fan. Wait, dogs have eggs? Yeah. <laughs> of course they do. Oh, Miss Biscuit? Oh. I can't change it from Miss Biscuit, I don't think. That's a very cute name. Hello, Miss Biscuit. I feel like this is a mini game of some sort and I like don't understand it. What are Miss Biscuit's stats? Peaceful. Easily forms positive connections with other dogs. Aw. Look at you. Not very stable though. Actually, I'm sort of getting motion sickness. All right. Let's feed you an empty cocoon. Weird. Yellow sighting. The road rug, the road map rug. I also had one of those, and I had little toy cars that I could drive around on it. The good old days, yeah. Did you see that Trackmania map that was inspired by the road map rugs? A pretty cool custom map. Consuming cast off cocoons is perfectly normal dog behavior, or was that caterpillars? I think just all mammals like caterpillars and dogs who lay eggs. What did you just do? Miss Biscuit, what did you do to Claw? Oh, Goose needs food. Uh... Use you have to have food. <laughs> Ooh, 
Goose. Hello. Don't starve, Goose. Alright, anyway. What else happening here? <laughs> Goose. Oh dear. I might need to make more food, huh? I have a stump and a candy bar wall. Am I keeping the dogs in a sweatshop? They are in their own home. Imagine if you had an entire room that you could call your own and you were allowed to dig holes in it and also build a hut out of dirt. I don't have that. Do you have that? I don't have that. It's hard to admit, but <sighs> let her rip. That's not, it's not an okay thing to say. You don't need to imagine. Fair enough. Fair enough. We have a food printer that prints unlimited food. You don't know that. It might be limited. Instead of world hunger, ending world hunger, we're using it to breed dogs to catastrophic proportions. And also... <laughs> World hunger is largely an infrastructure problem, not a food generation problem. It's because we don't properly prioritize getting the food to the places it is needed. Also, I'm glad we're having this conversation. What about these dogs is catastrophic? I mean, most of it. by Noodle. It's been nice. I think Noodle might be an adult now. Which is fun. Well, I'm learning so much stuff. This flora is unhelpful and potentially dangerous. So they shouldn't eat poop? Maybe they shouldn't eat poop. A branch-like flora that incidentally mirrors the foods that contain it. I don't know what that means. A sensible flora with a pleasing palate. Crystallized flora with a mysterious past. What? Contrarialis. Contraria Contrarialis. Sort of hard to pronounce, but that's not really its fault. Well, what does it do? Sheesh. Sheesh. Is that weird? Sheesh. I think anytime Twitch chat is involved in the decision making related to breeding, it is a catastrophe. Yeah, well. How loud was it? Was it too loud? Do I have to turn the volume down on that? I'm not sure I can. Too high pitched. You could barely hear it crank it up. Mm, gotcha. <laughs> this game normalizes a dog's a really cute and derpy mindset bunny wrap. We should put some toys over here, maybe? I don't... Do I need to, like, make a floor for this room, or what's going on? That only changes here. How many dens should dogs try to build in this room? How do I change which room I'm building? Chat help. I'm going to pet Goose and forget my problems. I have made Goose more eat and food.
The foam ham sort of looks like a dog. Sort of looks like one of my dogs. It's a bit confusing. Go to big screen and select fence on the other room. Go to big screen and select the fence on the other room. Ah. I see. All right. Got a little play area over there. When you select the pens on the escape screen, you can pick which pen to put the dogs into there, I think. Go in here. Rude. Unbelievable. Should we try to make the best possible doggos or the worst possible doggos? Or are we just going for something in between? Noodle is now a teen and has increased front leg girth. Noodle reminds me somewhat of um, Clippy from Microsoft Word. Don't know why. Most terrifying dogs. Aren't those the same, possibly? Miss Biscuit is a juvenile. And... Has snout rotation? I didn't know snout rotation was a thing. Can we make... They're still not old enough. How old do they have to be? I guess they have to be adults. Sure, that makes sense. I'm not gonna lie, Noodle is my favorite, but I have a soft spot for Claw. Randy... Randy has been a blessing. But, uh... It's not really convinced. <laughs> Good noodle. You can just see all of the work that went into these dog physics. Oh, oh, noodle. Oh, noodle. What are you doing, noodle? What is the lore of this game? Um. Well, I'm still waiting for it to get all twisted and weird. I feel like it could happen at any time. We're making doggos and hanging out with them is the lore. Happy trails. Thanks for the three months. The spire looks different, but somehow similar. Yes. I wonder when Claw will upgrade. Is there a way to see how close they are to... Cooling. Also, will the dogs die of old age? That's sort of terrifying. Goose has more snout rotation now. All right. The dogs are confused. More snout rotation or less snout rotation? Switch to making cut fruits now. <gasps> Herpsimus is growing up. You see a gat? suffer. Oh, they just got their food. He's looking at me, licking his lips. 
his food was inadequate. Now he's considering how long to let me live before he consumes me as well. Erpsimus is a young adult. Okay. So I think once they're adults, they just stay adults forever. Can we maybe like help you out a little bit there, Derpsimus? I can't see where the uh, accidents are. The floor is a bit too busy. Sleep. Throw it. Manipulating body color is endgame content. Body color has been very stably pink. Oof. Being able to destroy the cocoons is vaguely ominous. We can make some of the stuff go away. Seth, why do you, you, what do you want? Derpsimus needs sleep. Derpsimus go to sleep. Oh, everybody needs sleep. Why do they all need... Oh. I feel like we got a lot of achievements at the start. I was making a lot of good plays. But it's sort of slowed down since then. I'm waiting for Derpsimus to be an adult. So that, uh... We can make a new generation. Maybe we just make another one of these. It's claw eating the dirt clump. I mean, that's fine. Dogs do that. Let's look for an interesting mutation. So let's make a tiny dog. Everybody loves tiny dogs, right? What is that? All right, we've gone full green. I will name it Greeny or Lime Boss. Possibly Lime Boss. Zephyr. Oh, you're not stop there. We're dealing with a real pro dog breeder here. I certainly have all of the equipment. Most dog breeders do not get one of these on their first day, that's for sure. Greenathan? For some reason, I really enjoy that one. I'm just overwhelmed by how realistically they portray sex in this game. Um, okay. No, Lime Boss won't be bullied for being different. My doggos are very accepting. Look at Derpsimus, who is rude and has very little consideration for other dogs, which means Derpsimus won't care, right? Goose uh, is polite and loud. Goose, 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 you're going to starve to death. Go Goose. Wait, can I put you up here? Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Goose alone. I'm sorry, Goose. I'm sorry. What am I doing? I have a Oh My dog's name is Lime Boss. Where do you get a giant breeding machine? Asking for a friend. Um They have those on Amazon, I think. They can send them to you in discrete packaging. Hmm. 
Can I move some dogs to room two? They seem to walk to room two on their own. I haven't put much for them to do in room two, to be honest. Maybe if there was more stuff to do over here, like food to eat, more of them would want to be over here. Is that a corn dog? I have not had a corn dog in like five years, I think. Let me think for a second about whether I missed them. No, okay. Cool. That was an interesting exercise. Oh my god, Lime Boss is like moonwalking. Look at you go. Lime Boss is polite and quiet. Perfect. Is this your attempt to walk? <laughs> it's not going well. I don't know if it is an attempt to walk. Maybe it's something else. Fabulous prizes. Lime Boss is trying his best. I'm sure. Any toys? I feel like there used to be toys. Oh, here you go. Here you go, Lime Boss. Dig! Poured objects. <laughs> Boop! Wait, is it dependent on where I pet? Shake object. Buck. Oh, is it dependent on what they were just doing when I pet them? Oh. So you are hoarding objects, so by petting you when you were hoarding objects, I made you like it more? I think. Goof off. Roll over. Oh. What if I make you like me more? Roll over. <gasps> Lime Boss is apparently trying its best to roll over. Lime Boss is not. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> Look at my child. Renocking said 22 months. Where can you get your own wobbly doggos? This is called Wobble Dogs and it is available on Steam today. Just released from six years of development and a year in early access. Okay, Claw. Okay, Claw. Let's, uh, let's behave. No barking. Scold. We did liked that? I'm so confused. Lime Boss, you're doing great. Lime Boss is becoming a philosopher king. Queen. A philosopher royal. I'm trying not to gender my doggos. I mean, I don't know. They all have the same X butts, and I haven't seen anything else that's distinguishing them. They get a little anime sweat drop when scolded. What did that happen? Oh, okay. Noodle is becoming a young adult. Quite exciting. I forgot about Noodle. Or Noodle. I feel like, um, as a smaller dog, when Noodle stopped being tiny, Noodle, like, sort of stopped being distinguishable from the other dogs, because then Noodle just looked like one of the other dogs, which was still tiny. Hatch, Noodle. <laughs> it's 
sort of gross. <laughs> Noodle, you are so long. Oh my god. This is showing that it's a mutation because of what was eaten, I think. Getting older. Claws getting old. They're not ready to pass on just yet, but they don't have much time left. Would you like to move the camera to their position? What? Are you serious? You're going to make me watch my dog die? Claw! Oh. <laughs> oh. I didn't know. I thought they would be with me forever. Why do you have to make the dogs die in a speak? Oh, good job. Why do you have to make the dogs die in a video game? <laughs> Store it before he's gone. I sort of want to see what happens when it dies, though. I'm going to store Claw. And we'll let Randy die instead. I've got it worked out. Leave for an hour. Space Lab food dispenser. Alien fruit. Dehydrated treat. Moon cheese. And onion ring. What is this uh, suggesting about onion rings? Oh! I forgot. My doggos are in their cocoons still. Your pet got stored when it was old too? That's good. Lime boss has become bigger, mostly. Mostly bigger. What about you, Goose? Oh, Miss Biscuit. I'm sorry. This is actually a lot like um, Twitch chat. Miss Biscuit is a teen. <laughs> Every day I provide Twitch chat with certain nourishment, like an intense strategy game or a chill doggo simulator and depending on that you get different stuff in your belly which makes you grow differently and then twitch chat when the channel is seven years old i will have a big robot dog and i will use it to smash you together to make eggs so that's cool Goose! Goose's ear length just became very short. <laughs> okay, let's, let's stop talking about this. Don't make it weird. Rings are space themed, right? No. <laughs> not, it's not how rings work. Alien fruit. We're not sure what it is or where it came from, but it tastes great. Interesting. Stuff's getting a little bit cluttered here, isn't it? <laughs> Who's barking? No, no, no. Scold. Why are you overheating? Lamboss? 
What are you doing? I'm not sure what Lime Boss is doing. Lime Boss? That was a sweet move. Noodle, you look obscene. <laughs> Noodle. Aww. Apparently you can create memorials to dogs, turn on settings about ghosts coming back, or just turn off death altogether. Gameplay settings? Dog death. No. <sighs> Turning off this feature will disrupt the simulation balance and limit access to certain death-related features. <sighs> capped genetics. If enabled, the game will enforce reasonable capped values for dog genetics. Oh my gosh, why would you ever enable that? Dogs is also a setting here, which cannot be turned off. <laughs> That's great. Hatch Derpsimus. Derpsimus is an adult. And what a handsome adult Derpsimus is. Goal complete. All grown up. Additional pen. Also, did it just say that it would, like, disturb the balance of the game? <laughs> it did, right? I mean... <laughs> I imagine that is simultaneously true and hilarious. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, I see. I get it. Some privacy for some of the doggos, maybe? Unsolvable. And, and it, hot dogs! Everybody loves hot dogs. And <laughs> the arc. Oh my gosh. We're going bowling. <laughs> this is the 1027th balance iteration of the game. Believable. It seems you can put pipes in the ceiling, and does that mean the dogs can learn to fly? Uh, I believe the dogs can learn to fly. Yes. I believe that's actually a thing that can happen. Randy. And Derpsimus. Get out of here, Randy. Claw and Derpsimus. Let's make a new doggo. Got some green ears. Thoughts on green ears? Wait, I could crossbreed the two with green ears. And then the next one will presumably have green ears too, and maybe also something else. This one has green ears and green body. Oh, that's like bright lime. Okay. I'm getting so good at this. I am an artist, and my doggos are my canvas. You ate three plates of beans. That's cool. 
Wait, it's sort of like the purple and green. I think that's it. Select final dog. That is a pretty doggo. <laughs> Who has square eyes? Wait, somebody has square eyes? I don't see anybody with square eyes. Oh no. Look away again. This is indecent. The greenest one had square eyes. I got bored of looking away. I might actually have nightmares about this machine. <laughs> the ears really make this. It's the it's the heart eyes for me, I think. Nightmares, cool cover story. Hey. Very intense dreams of some sort. Eat. Why are they all... Why, why are you eating Goose's butt, line boss? Lime boss. <laughs> Lime boss. <laughs> My dog's name is Kiwi. Absolutely not. My dog's name is Joseph. Okay, I need a punchline. Joseph McPurple. Is that how you spell Joseph? Can you spell Joseph like this to you? Can you do both? Joseph Mama? <laughs> yeah, you know. You know my dog Joe. Joseph Mama. <laughs> there you go, I love it. This floor is a healthy addition to any canine gut. Dirt gives a brown coloration, apparently. Short body le Tiny wings? Hello? We need to feed everybody that. Magnilium. I sense great things from this humble flora. We need to feed our doggos space food. Intense pattern. We need to feed them onion rings and bees. Have some food, doggos. <laughs> Joseph is the punchline? No. Nothing weird about being called Joseph. I don't remember where that uh thing came from. Maybe it came from here. The one that it said, oh, was that actually from onions? It was onions. Clean up 10 poops. Ham slider for use with the classic food dispenser. Oh. A ham slider in a brioche bun. What lucky doggos you are. I found another egg. Um, Should we make another dog? 
Red Barrier. You tried clipping the breeding machine, but it crashed your browser. That's concerning. Um, if you try to walk out of your room right now, can you open the door or is it shut on you now? Can you turn on the ventilator? Is there a ventilator? I don't know if there's a ventilator. Look at what's in your stomach, Derpsimus. You've been doing so much eating. Way to go. Oh, this. Oh. Randy is getting old, but they're not ready to pass on just yet. They don't have much time left. Yes. All right, Randy. You've been a good doggo. I praise you. I'm not sure I can do this. I definitely got a dog when I was four or something, which is what parents do when they want their kids to have a tremendously traumatic um, lesson about mortality as teenagers. And that was definitely a thing that happened to me. It was good though, it was good to have a dog as a kid. Oh. Randy's tired. Randy's had a good life. Would you like an onion ring, Randy? All pets are lessons in mortality, but they are worth the lessons. Even strange doggos. Oop. Randy did a poop. Look, Randy, it's your friend, Noodle. <laughs> oh my gosh, the tunnels. Would you like a ham slider? Would you like a clump of dirt? Maybe not. I don't know where the toys went. Is this it, Randy? Are you looking down a long, dark tunnel and seeing a light at the end? I think Randy might just be really high. Those are very dilated pupils. When is his dog gonna die? We're spending time together. Chill. <laughs> Chill! It's important. I think they're hugging or something. What a bunch of cuties. You pooped again? Oh my gosh. We appreciate that they tell you up front so you can spend some extra time with Randy in his final moments. Yeah, exactly. Uh-oh. Randy is green? Why do you have green things on you, Randy? Randy is high energy and peaceful. I'll miss you, Randy. Randy does not seem to actually be dying. All right, never mind. Randy's just immortal. We're good. Noodle! Noodle is now an adult. Noodle can have kids. Way to go, Noodle. What a handsome adult you are. Joseph Mama? Uh, a juvenile?
Miss Biscuit. Doggos can die. You can turn it off. But if you don't turn it off, then yes, they can die. Supposedly, there are some uh, mechanics relating to that, including them coming back as ghosts and building memorials to them. Anyway, we'll find out soon. Oh, Goose is also an adult. You look forward to Joseph Mama's shrine? Same. The end is near. Randy has lived a long, full life, and now it's time for them to pass on. Would you like to move the character to their position? Yes. Goodbye, Randy. Oh. Die? <laughs> I've encouraged Randy to die, Randy. Randy, no. Don't eat him. Are you eating him? <laughs> Doggy Vision Jr. <sighs> Do you have to eat Randy? <laughs> I don't know, maybe they do. An empty water bottle. I bet that's another toy. Okay. Went a direction you did not consider? Yeah. Yeah, Sam. Well, gives the dogs a TV that they can watch. Not too many, though. Don't want to rot their brains. When will Randy return as a ghost? That's going to happen, right? 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 You feel bad, but that was the hardest you'd laughed in weeks. Well, there you go. Alright, who are these doggos? We're gonna want some more long boys. I am not convinced that any of the long dogs can stand up. <laughs> <laughs> they don't seem to be having a great time of it. Oh my gosh. Look at how happy this one is. And it seems actually stable somewhat, like it can stand up. What if it was long and wide? That could be sort of interesting. Wide doggo. Oh no, if they get stuck on their backs, they can't turn over. They're too wide. I'm sure they'll work it out. If you encourage a doggo to eat doggo, do they gain a cannibal trait? I don't know. 
This is, um... It looks like a bodybuilder who's all roided out, but their head is just preposterously small. Do we call it Arnie? I don't know what we should call it. They are incredibly stable on their backs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what you want, right? Did you know that, like, hurdle shells are evolutionarily designed to not be stable when turtles are upside down in any position or something like that. I read this once. Should I name one exclamation mark dog? We could name this exclamation mark dog. I'm okay with that. Is this how babies are? Yeah, that's how babies are made. Gosh. I mean, if you have to ask still. That's okay. We all go at our own pace in life. I feel like I have way too much food. Let's incubate our egg. Baby tooth. Baby tooth. My dog's name is exclamation mark dog. <laughs> go dog, go. I have truly bred the ultimate machine. This is a hunting dog. It is bred over generations for one explicit purpose. To hunt and to kill prey. Excellent work so far, exclamation mark dog. It is, see, it already got a kill. That's one, that's one, nice work. Oh. It's still alive, I think. Your those things for the 16 months. It looks like bread. It has no unique traits. Look, <laughs> we can't. We can't all be winners. <laughs> you have no unique traits. Talk shit about my dog. <laughs> oh, memorialize. Area block. This is high quality dog core, a mysterious orb contained within the body of every dog. What? Crack open. Goal complete. Crack. What have I done? Eat? Dog! Eat! Wait, where, where did it go? Where are you? Miss Biscuit. Eat the remains of Randy. Just stand on your legs. Walk with your legs. We have made a rock speaker. Did it just say this was an upgraded form of a rock? It's awesome. Now I can play rock music. I sure can. Great work, Miss Biscuit. 
what just went in your belly from that? I don't know. Doesn't look like anything. Continue eating. You can blast dog propaganda on the dog speakers. I probably am. I'm sure I am. Imagine if it was like this hard for your dog to walk. I guess some dogs get like ooh, lifespan extended. Oh. Congratulations, Miss Biscuit. Good job bouncing. <laughs> I love that they fall over when you pet them. Uh, what was I saying? Some doggos have like the little doggo wheel helpers. You know what I'm saying? Like their legs aren't so good, but they get strapped up to wheels and then they go vroom vroom. You second the dog lich. <laughs> oh my. You can feed dead dogs to your favorites to extend their lifespan. That seems to be the the plan, yeah. Onion rings gives you wings. Ham like body, <laughs> droopy face. <laughs> Kingdom Labo, a flora unique to the wobble dog species. Okay, maybe we shouldn't be eating our dud. <laughs> ways, ways that that sentence could have ended. All right, anyway. Your third dog lich motion carries. Hold up. I feel like we need more than three votes for that. Mutate. Goose needs some food. What do you eat in here? Some cut fruit, maybe? Oh, a dog egg. Oh, two dog eggs. They seem to like to lay their eggs in private. What is that marker? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Uh, sure. Doggos lay eggs. Yeah, this is a real life simulator. Exclamation mark dog is now juvenile has longer most things, but less leg gloss. That often happens as you grow older. You lose some of that gloss on your legs. What is the lore of this game? What sort of post-apocalyptic wasteland has caused these erasers to gain legs? We are making a colony of doggos, and we are slowly evolving them until they have wings and stuff like that. You think we can get ones with wings yet? Joseph Mama is still a young adult even after this. Noodle is an adult. Derps Miss is an adult. Aren't they ordered by like how old they are? Wouldn't that be easier? 
How are they ordered? I'm not sure. Have we found a tail food yet? I think so? I feel like we found a tail food. I'm approaching this somewhat erratically. So, you know. Things will happen when they happen is my approach to this. All right, Miss Biscuit. This biscuit. I feel like you're so long now. Oh, you are so long now. Look at you. Body length 27.4%. Way to go, Miss Bis. Oh my god. Like a. Like one of the bendy buses. Joseph Mama. I feel like you are a very different color from before. Very good. Beautiful. And Lime Boss. Lime Boss got more lime, if anything. Body Metallic. So now we'll have Metallic Doggos. Enjoying the hot dog wallpaper? This is probably the best room aesthetically, yeah? Over here we got a little bit cluttered. I mean, I let the dogs, you know, build their... <laughs> Miss Biscuit. Miss Biscuit, you are so cute. Can we make a new doggo? Yes. Out of Miss Biscuit and Noodle, perhaps? They are organized by dogness. Ah, I see. What if we picked the largest one and the smallest one every time? Massive litter. Dogs who are actually like this exist in real life. Massive litter! I need that purple. Actually, hold up. Let's just select you as the final dog. I like the purple. Is it backseating if we tell Lime Boss you shouldn't have taken Metallicize? Depends on how Lime Boss feels, I suppose. Was it advice that Lime Boss was looking for? Name him a final dog? Okay. Alright. Sure. I will. What happens if the stability is 0%? Should we find that out? Let's find that out. First, though. The miracle of life. This is how we do it. I tried before and tiny letters stopped me. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Should I just be going until I am forced to stop by Tiny Litter, maybe? Can 
can use HTML and the names to make them colorful. I don't know. All right, we could be here a little while then. We're going all the way to zero, if we can. Can you crossbreed a dog with itself? No. Ooh. That's two square-eyed dogs? Actually, it's like, they're all square-eyed. All right, we have square-eyed doggo. Square-eyed doggo with very, 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 very small peoples. Wait, what's going on? Wait, no, the peoples just changed sizes, I think. Need to know what happens. Perhaps we will find out. I like I like this one because it knows how to move around on its back. So it doesn't even need to be able to stand on its legs. It's got a little bit of go get him attitude. Lowering 65%. What exactly are we simulating? I mean, I guess doggos, but... <laughs> the music. A nice magenta? Is that magenta? Not really, huh? Not even slightly. Alright, what do we get? Wait, what happens if you keep going at 0%? All complete seriously unstable. I guess this is what we've got. Select final dog. You just tuned in and you don't know what's happening and you don't want anyone to explain, please. All right, I won't. You're gonna enjoy this next bit. Litter size decreases. I feel like litter size probably decreases and number of uh, morphs or whatever, mutations, there you go. Number of mutations probably increases. Here we go. Amazing that we started with those two handsome doggos and ended up where we did. A kid with square eyes and a gorgeous rust-colored body. I will name it... Mm, rusty. Simulated floor. I see. Drip! Wait, I meant to name it last dog though. This was a request. I don't know why it's called last dog. I'm now going to make another dog immediately. It's a very confusing name. <laughs> oh, final dog? Oh shoot. I'm sorry. I forgot what I was meant to call it. All right, we'll call this one final <laughs> dog. <laughs> Drip is an incredible name, it's true.
Great job biting that dog's butt. Good work. It's a fresh dog! I'm gonna call it Rusty, like I said. Alright, I still don't know what this icon means. Sleeping? No. Dying? Does it mean there's more than one thing that's a problem? Oh, that's probably what it means. Yeah, that's probably it. We have found out about Ectobacter. Might hurt to step on this flora if it wasn't so small. Skinny legs, thin body, tiny tail. Tiny tail? Big. Oh my. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, I see. It makes um, it makes alien dogs. This is alien fruit. Enum labo. Random you. Very good. There's a plate where Zephyr wants to sit. What used to be on this plate? Don't even remember. It's like the distant past. Back when I wasn't streaming my doggo game, and I was instead eating food. You're a bit disappointed in the 0% stability outcome. You expected something more drastic? Oh, I mean... You expected more than my precious child, Rusty? <laughs> Noodle, you're incredible. I think Noodle might be my favorite. That dog looks like a cat must be a rare trait. What do you think about the doggo game, Zephyr? Zephyr has no thoughts. We just got here, but Noodle is incredible. I'm glad you agree. Oh my gosh, there's two of them! Came through together. What if the 0% stable dog is infertile? Oh, or rusty. <laughs> we got some hungry doggos, more onion rings, and more of these. Oh, they're all like. Just hanging out though. There's tons of them. Y'all gotta eat your food. I have never had a pet that um didn't immediately go eat food when it was actually that's not true. Xenia takes her time before going to eat the food sometimes. But that's because Zephyr is a jerk about it. It's because Zephyr is so food oriented and anxious about food that he like beats Xenia up so that she will let him eat it first. Zephyr also like eats the food too quickly and then vomits it up and then Xenia eats it. I feel like it's okay to share this because we're playing a game where a dog just ate another dog. So like, I mean, really we already set the bar higher than that. Anyway, the point is, I think overall, uh, they probably both get around the right amount of food. Works out nicely that way. Did I ever change the food bowl to match daylight savings? I have not. The only thing I have done that acknowledges daylight savings existing... Well, actually, I mean, I didn't even do that, but my computers automatically change their clocks, obviously. Other than that, I have not acknowledged Daylight Savings' existence. And I will continue not to. Where are all the toys? Aren't there a bunch of toys once upon a time? Also, what do these plants do? don't know. Are they all in here? Ooh! Bamboo fence. This is in here. 
this is on here. Put it away. So now they're back in my toy box and I can play with a doggo if I want. For example, Miss Biscuit here. Miss Biscuit looks like. She could use some foam ham. Grab it! I am trying my best to grab the foam ham. You can do it, Miss Biscuit. You can do it! Oh, you fell over. <laughs> Miss Biscuit. Are they dancing? Is that why they're doing this? Are they dancing to the music? They might be dancing to the music. A lot of bouncing going on in this room. I wonder if eating food is what progresses life phases, and if you didn't force eating, they would live longer than an hour. Uh, I don't think so. I think eating food puts stuff in their gut, which affects their mutations when they cocoon. I'm learning a lot about dogs, by the way. <laughs> I didn't know dogs did this. I guess my dogs when I was a kid, um, like my parents, dealt with that without me knowing. Rusty is now a juvenile. Rusty is growing up. A lava lamp. Nice. The dogs die in this game. Yes, they explode and then you can feed their bodies to the other dogs. It's okay. It's good, actually. <laughs> it's... Don't worry. <laughs> it's okay. I was worried that it would be sad at first, but uh... <laughs> it's actually just very funny. <laughs> Raffles something's for the 13 months. I appreciate it. I feel like last dog looks sort of angry. I think it's the square eyes. The square eyes just make me feel a little unsettled. I haven't looked at the perks on these recently. My recent ones don't have any perks. Maybe they're more likely to have perks if they are more stable. Hmm? It's a thought. The very picture of consideration. Just wonderful. Gosh, they're all just dancing to the music. I remember back when I was a kid, we didn't have speakers for dogs. Dogs had to socialize with each other and play with toys. They could just dance all day. <sighs> I worry about this generation. You can feed dead dogs to other dogs to extend the lifespan. Yeah, so it's a lot like in real life. Looks like a bunch of worms. That's not good. A cluster of goopy organisms. Ah, that comes from cheese as well. I don't know if we want to feed them cheese. Cheese seems bad. You don't know if you can watch Noodle die? Maybe we won't let Noodle die. What on earth is a ham-like body? Hmm. No comment? Actually, I'm sort of ripped, to be honest. I've been working out, and today I like was working out and I was like, holy shit, I can feel my back muscles. Anyway, watch out for like bodybuilder jorbs in the near future. A ham like Jorbs. <laughs> it is what it is. Noodle could eat the other dog's cores to live forever. That's true. We could make Noodle the lich dog.
Noodle, are you okay? I think Noodle's just playing, but it's also possible that Noodle has fallen over and can't get up because of Noodle's body dimensions. You're good, right? Okay, maybe, maybe Noodle needs some help. <laughs> Noodle, are you okay? What? <laughs> what was that? That one wasn't me. Noodle just like jumped to the ceiling. I can get some buddy builder doggos. I already did that. Uh... Exclamation mark dog was the bodybuilder doggo, right? I think so. Or was it you? No, you're a goose. Lime boss. You're even more lime? You're even more lime. And you're an adult. Cool. Joseph, mama, where are you? Trip on a banana peel. You gotta eat the bananas, not trip on them. Joseph Mama has gotten slightly larger. Came late after being asleep for a bit. Really had to triple check that you were sober after watching this for five minutes. Oh, it's just normal dog stuff, isn't it? I mean, I've never had this many dogs at once, but I imagine that it gets pretty, uh, pretty wacky. I think we've almost cleaned up 50 of these. Do I have a tire? I do have a tire. Does anybody remember me getting a tire? I don't remember me getting a tire. Good job eating the plant. Yes, good job sneezing. Maybe I got the tire when I set that up to be an outdoor room or something. The onion rings are evolving. Perhaps. People acting like they've never seen a dog before. We're 41% through the floor. Oh, we have to dig so many more holes and collect so many more eggs and pet a dog who hates it. How is that even possible? Uh, do you think you can complete that? Like, actually, though? Decorate a room with space-themed wallpaper. And carpeting. I don't have space themed wallpaper. Bunny wrappings for four months! I uh, appreciate it. Is that noise? Are you pooping on Joe Mama? I don't know if we should encourage that behavior. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Um I'm gonna wind the stream down now and go have some dinner. I hope you have enjoyed my wobble dogs excursion. We will leave our family of dogs alone in space or wherever this is where are they wait oh <gasps> there's a rainbow i didn't know 
That's pretty. Well, they're in some sort of paradise. And there they shall remain. Perhaps for all of time. This has been wonderful. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I asked me if I was interested in playing this game because it was very different from what I usually play on stream. And I looked at it for about two seconds and was like, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm glad that I got to. You can check it out on Steam. It just released today from Early Access. Exclamation mark wobble. Six years of development, one year in Early Access, and now it is ready for you to play. A true-to-life, extremely realistic doggo simulator. Well, okay. Not, I mean, you all know that I'm... <laughs> you all know that I'm being facetious. You know me. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, everybody.